Hey, what's up everybody? James Annan here with Expert Web Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to talk about testimonials. I'm going to explain what they are and why they're very important to be using on your business's website and how you can use them the right way so that they're, they can effectively have more of an impact on your prospective customers to want to do business with you. Okay, so first off, what is a testimonial? A testimonial is a recommendation of the character, ability, etc. of a person or of the quality of a product or service especially by a person whose opinion is valued. All right, and this is just a quick example of what a testimonial looks like. And this isn't necessarily the best testimonial in the world. You know, you, you don't want to use one like this, but this is this, the example that I'm going to work with in this video. Okay, so how to use them. Let's say that someone comes to your website, and we'll give this guy a name. We'll name him John. John's thinking about buying your product or your service, and he's surfing around on your website. You should have a section on there, or better yet, an entire page where John can go and read testimonials from your past customers. If you have a section where John can read what other people are saying, it helps him build a sense of, a, a sense of confidence towards you and a sense of trust, and it gives your business some credibility behind it. And these are very important things to have today um, on the internet. Many business websites understand that they should be using testimonials, and they do, but sometimes they do so in the wrong way, in ways that just aren't they're just not using them to their full potential. You can't just throw up a few testimonials in your website and expect them to work. They need to be put together in just the right way to fully engage the person reading it and to fully, to fully consume the reader and to make them really believe in that testimonial and convince them that you are great. They're not just words on a computer screen. It's hard to do, you know, this is hard to do through a computer screen because John over here, he doesn't know who this person is making this testimonial. For all he knows, it could be fake and it could be made up. So how do we make it so that John can can really connect to this testimonial and really influence him to act on it? You can uh, you can do that by using the following pointers. Number one, get the demographics. When putting together a testimonial on your website, get the demographics of the person who gave it and display that information right under it. Get more than just the first name. You don't have to get the last name, but you want to get more information than just a, just a name. Um, you want to be sure to tell your website visitors as much as you can about whoever gave that testimonial so that your visitors have a chance to establish a common relationship and a sense of who that person is who gave that review. A few good things to include are the person's occupation and maybe their website if they have one. Maybe you could add their name or I mean their age um, or their city and state. Those are all good things to add. And when you start adding more information like this about the customer who gave it, you're starting to, to make this testimonial more believable and more realistic uh, about who that person is. And you're now beginning to create a, a real person instead of just a name. And when you start to create more of a person behind the testimonial, then that has a much, much stronger influence in it. People also tend to believe and trust the people that they know more about or who they have the most in common with. That's why it's important to include the demographics of the person who gave the testimonial so that your target audience can relate to them. Chances are that whoever is reading your testimonial and thinking of using your service, they probably have something in common with those who have already used your service. So if you display your past customers' demographics, then your new customers are likely to, you know, they're more likely to, are able to relate to the person and that, that person who gave their, the previous review so, so this is why the more information that you display, the better off you're going to be. The second thing to do is to tell a story. Because people love stories. They're more engaging and they're much stronger than just a short phrase that says, I really like the way they did business. Uh, use a happy customer story about how your product or service made their life better and easier. Make it three to five or six sentences long because any more than that, it's going to start to get too long. And people don't want to read it if it's too long. An example is something like this. My business was picking up so fast that I really needed a quick and efficient way to manage my funds. This accounting agency was affordable and very efficient. I would recommend this service to anyone. It's short, but it adds a bit more of a kick than just that short phrase that we had earlier. You're now helping the reader put together a story behind the testimonial. And When you start using a testimonial with a customer's story along with that customer's demographics, you're now starting to build a very powerful testimonial. The next thing that you should do is use a picture. Use a picture of the person who gave that testimonial because people can connect better with anything if there's a picture along with it. It just pulls everything together, making the whole story even more realistic and it will influence the reader much more if they see a face of the person who made the testimonial 
because now it's not just a bunch of words on a computer screen. We can see a real human face, and that brings a, a sense of comfort to your, your website visitors. Uh, the picture also brings out a, a human element factor to the reader to connect to, and this is very important, again, to do in this day and age on the Internet. And, when you, and this, this really helps John be more confident and establish more of a sense of trust towards your website. And when you start using all three of these things combined in every testimonial and then package them up into a nice testimonials page, you built yourself a, a real solid selling point that will really help out your business. Another thing you can do is put a nice bubble around it or something with a nice gradient because it looks nice and it's subtle and it's professional and it really helps it stand out just a little bit more. A couple other options that you have when doing testimonials is you can think about using call-out boxes. Call-out boxes are, are a great stylistic and creative way to display your testimonials. It makes them stand out while still looking professional and visually appealing. Testimonials like this are more likely to be remembered over ones with just simple text and will have more of a lasting impact on your reader. You could also do your testimonials in a video format where you show a video of the customers telling their story. This is also a great approach to take because it's even more engaging for someone to watch a video and, and it stands out more and they're also more memorable too. Video testimonials may be a little bit more expensive and a little more work, but I think they're worth the time and the effort. But if you do decide to do a video testimonial, make sure it's a professional quality. You don't want to do a testimonial that has bad video quality because it'll make your, your business seem unprofessional and that'll hurt your credibility. So be very careful with that. And way too many businesses are using testimonials, but they're making them too short, too bland, no images. And they're on the right track in using them, but they could be much more efficient when they're using them. By using some of these examples in this slideshow, you can be sure to get the most out of each and every testimonial, and it'll establish much more um, professionalism and credibility for your business's website. Okay, now I'm going to talk about why testimonials, why they're so important to use, what's the meaning behind it, you know, and this is something called social validity. And when you're using testimonials, what you're really using is a sales psychology technique, and it's called social validity. And this is a principle that says that we as people, as human beings, often look to other people for their opinions and their thoughts and their advice for validation on something. And these opinions can greatly influence the way we make decisions and the way we act every single day in all facets, facets of our lives. If you've ever read a book review or a movie review or a hotel review, before making a decision, then you use social validation. Also, if you've ever been, these are reviews. Also, if you've ever been shopping um, and, and you ask the, the person you're with if they like the outfit that you picked out or if, or the new pair of, cho the new pair of sho uh, shoes that you chose, then you've used social validation. If you've ever been to a restaurant where you're looking over a menu and the server comes up to you and you, and you ask the server, what's the most popular item on the menu here or you know what's good here then you've used social validation so social validation is also why Twitter Facebook and YouTube are so popular we can see what other people are thinking and saying and doing instantly we can see people's opinions and their comments on things you know and all of these you know all of these things are interesting to us as people and as human beings it's hardwired into our brains to want to be in the know and to want to know what's going on to not want to be left out. You know, we want to know what people are thinking and what's happening. It's just a natural form of human communication. So using testimonials on your website is a great way to naturally communicate with people looking at your product. It helps engage them. It speaks to them and it lets them know what other people are saying about your product and your service. They want to know and see this stuff. It brings out that social element right there on your website and this is a very strong and powerful tool to have working in your favor. And there are other things you can do as well, like product reviews and rating systems, but those are just uh, those are a separate subject to talk about. For now, I'm just talking about testimonials because it's the easiest thing to use, and every business website should be using them. A few other quick pointers to remember when using testimonials. You should never use a testimonial from a client without first asking them because it's usually illegal, depending on where you live but just to be safe it's not a good idea most customers will be happy to give you one if you simply ask them um, make sure you make them easy and to get to 
and in a clear place. Label the area testimonials or what customers are saying, something like that. Also make sure your grammar and your spelling are correct. And this is kind of a given, uh, but in it, this should also be implemented throughout your entire website as well. Because if you don't have correct grammar and spelling, it hurts your professionalism and your credi credibility just as well. Something you can also do is you can use snippets on your home page. This is a quick example of a snippet. And this is a snippet of a testimonial that I used earlier. It's very short. It looks nice. And it has the picture of the person who gave that testimonial. It, it can fit in a small place on your home page. And it entices your website users to want to click, click here and, and see what this guy has to say. And if you click here on the Read More button, the link can go straight to your testimonials page. And this is a great to tie in your pages with... Uh, tie in your pages together. It should be as easy as possible for your users to be able to find their way around your website and this really helps out with that aspect and this is called usability. So this is a great way to use, use something like that. Okay, so in conclusion to wrap things up, just remember that testimonials are an awesome way to display feedback from happy customers. It can really help you get more business when using them in the right way. Remember the tell, tell the stats and that's the demographics. You know, whoever gave you the testimonial. Try and use the same description um, of whoever gave you that testimonial that your potential cu your potential customers would have so that they're able to relate to the testimonial. Tell a story to create a better picture of the person's experience while using your product. Use a picture to put a, a human face behind the testimonial and make it stand out. You can do this by using a border or a bubble around your testimonials or display a snippet of the testimonial, testimonial on your homepage so people can see it. Also call outs and videos are good too. And when you're taking the time to make yourself a good looking testimonial section then you will have put yourself in a much better position to establish a real connection to your prospective customers and it's going to give you a much better chance at winning their business especially if they have come to your website and they've never heard of you before. Uh, don't, es don't underestimate the power that testimonials have. They're a natural way to engage people who are interested in what other people have to say to you. Again, this is a psychological thing that we do every single day. Uh, it helps build credibility for you and trust for you and it is very important to have this thing on the internet today and it's a very powerful tool that you can be utilizing for your business. And I hope you were able to take, out, take away a couple pointers from this video and that's all I've got for you today. Uh, I want to thank you for checking us out today at expertweb.co and wish you all the best in your products and your business endeavors and encourage you to work hard and have fun and if you have any comments or questions or critiques feel free to email me at james at expertweb.co and don't forget to check out our other videos on website marketing online marketing and other sales psychology strategies that you can use to uh, put your business on the way to success thank you very much and have a great day